thanks for joining me today. I just want to tell you real quick, um, a little update. I am going to be starting another one month long challenge this time, just to see if I can get myself back on Weight Watchers and doing WW like I want to do. This summer, I kind of took a little bit of a break. If you saw me in the last episode, I had lost about 12 pounds and I kind of took a little bit of a break during the summer. Um, and I've pretty much kept that weight off, maybe gained back a one or two pounds of it, but I am on a mission now to lose another 15 pounds. Um, I'm gonna see how long that takes me, but I am going to be talking to you guys in the next month about my journey to get back again to Weight Watchers. And I share this with you because really weight loss is a journey. It's always about, it's not just, you know, a one um, track journey without ups and downs and bumps and hills and valleys. And so I just wanted to share with you because if you're in the same spot as me, you're probably going through some of that yourself. Um, but quickly today, I just wanted to share also that when I rejoined, um, it's only $10 a month now. Part of the reason that I started kind of going off in the summer was because the place that I used to wait in actually closed. So one of the ideas with this new core program is what they're calling the new program is for $10 a month, you can use their app, you can go on to their community um, and join other Weight Watcher members, WW members who, um, and you can also find groups that might be more helpful for you. You know, if you are a mom of young children, there might be a group for you. If you are a middle-aged woman, there might be a group for you. If you are an empty nester, there might be a group for you. Um, depending on your age, depending on your, um, for working moms, there's another one. For stay-at-home moms, there's one. So try and find the group that best fits you. Um, but again, for $10 a month, you can join Weight Watchers right now. And I don't get paid to endorse Weight Watchers at all, but I am a big supporter of it just because I have been so um, successful in the past and I know it works. And I really support, I really love that they increase your fiber intake that they lower the amount of sugar. There's just so many health benefits to being on Weight Watchers, whether or not you wanna lose weight, but just even to be healthy. Uh, today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of recipes, but real quick, I just wanna tell you, what am I eating today? Okay, so first for breakfast, um, I am actually going to show you my apple cinnamon oats recipe. So we take our apples, we slice them and cut them up, and we put um, some cinnamon and I've been trying to use stevia lately because uh, I'm trying to get away from sugar. So sometimes I'll sprinkle a little bit of sugar still, you know, because I don't necessarily always want um, stevia either, and there can be a little bit of a different taste to it. But I'm going to show you. So um, that is my morning and my morning, my breakfast, and that's about four to five points, um, depending on how much oatmeal I use. Um, then for lunch, I've been doing a salad. Um, I've been just cutting up some romaine lettuce and doing cucumbers. I've been liking the mini cucumbers lately, so I've been cutting those up and putting them in my salad. And then for some added protein, um, chickpeas. So those are, all three of those things are zero points. So the only thing I count for my uh, lunch is my, is the added dressing. So I do use a full fat dressing just because I don't like the added chemicals. Sometimes I'll use, because typically lower fat dressings are adding in chemicals to make it taste a little bit better. So I usually use full fat dressings. Uh, sometimes I will use balsamic vinegar and oil and just count those points. So usually my lunch is about like seven points or so. Um, and then for dinner tonight on the menu, uh, I have, my kids have sports tonight. So tonight on the menu, I just picked up a rotisserie chicken at Sam's Club and that is zero points. So I will um, use that chicken. And then for my family, I will make some rice and they haven't fully gotten on the cauliflower rice um, bandwagon yet, but um, I love it. So I buy this at, this is what happens to be organic. Uh, sometimes I try to buy organic if I can, but this is steam in a bag rice cauliflower and this is from Target, it's a couple dollars, and that's zero points, and then I add my soy sauce on there, and then I will put in a vegetable with that. So I'll 
um, either steamed broccoli or carrots, and I'll throw that in there as well. And that is a pretty low point dinner. Zero points for the stuff that I showed you. So I usually will add in um, maybe a little bit of rice just to give myself that carb uh, for dinner, depending on how many points I have left for the day. And then usually at night, I also will have, I do give myself a little bit of a dessert at night, just something low point. Uh, it might be sometimes even an Oreo cookie. And to you guys, you might, some of you might be like, well, I don't want to add that into my whole points, too many points. But for me, that's what works for me. So a lot about Weight Watchers is what works for you and what works for you may not work for others. Um, but if I feel like I'm, uh, if I have something to look forward to, then it helps me to stay on plan a little bit better. Almost like that delayed gratification. So that's something I'm trying to work on too, is that, um, you know, if there is a donut and, you know, the other day my sister had donuts at her house and I think one donut's like 20 points at this uh, type of donut I was going to eat. And so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna have a small piece and I cut it up and then I said, I'll have an, a small piece another day this week or another um, night. So I put it in the freezer and um, having that delayed gratification, knowing I will have it at some point, I don't need to eat it right this second or right now. Um, the other thing I want you guys to think about too is when you are eating, are you eating because you're truly hungry? So one thing I noticed when I joined Weight Watchers was sometimes I'm hungry. Uh, and you have to remember that anytime you're trying to lose weight, you're going in a calorie deficit. So you are going to be a little bit hungry. So thinking about what am I going to do when I feel hungry? Uh, am I going to eat something at zero points? And you can do that. You just have to be careful because if you're eating zero points and you still want to keep eating, you might tend to grab for those things that um, are not zero points anymore. But um, anyway, I just want to share. So um, I'm working on delayed gratification. So using that as a tool and then also asking myself if I'm, if I'm truly hungry or am I just bored? Am I tired? Am I anxious? Um, and if I'm not truly hunger, if, you know, if I've ate and I really don't need to eat again, um, I'm working on finding things that I can do to supplement that time, whether it's go for a walk, whether it's something to do in the house and, um, whether it's time to play with my kids, you know, whether it's, um, just something I do to relax. I could watch a TV show if I have time to do that. So just thinking about that, I think I talked about this in a previous episode, but I'm still working on that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that apple cinnamon oatmeal right now. And I love it for the fall. I love apples. Fall, fall apples are the best apples, right? Because they give us in the fall, you get your biggest bang for your buck with apples because they are in season. Um, and usually you can get them for 99 cents or so a pound. Uh, so that's what I like to do. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so you need some quick cook oats, an apple, cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, and stevia or sugar if you want to add a few points. And I like to use my crock pot as well. So first I start off by cooking the serving that you'd like to use of oatmeal. Then I cut up and dice my apples and add them to my boiled oatmeal. And then I let it cook in there. Um, until my apples are softened, I add the vanilla and the cinnamon and top it off with a little bit of stevia. And then I let it cook and sit until my apples are nice and soft and I enjoy.